Well, folks, it's time to take a look back at the year in iOS. It's iOS Today! iOS Today is brought to you from LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hey, I want to thank you for tuning in to iOS today this year. There was, of course, a transition. Uh, Megan Maroney was replaced by Micah Sargent, who happens to be me. Uh, and we have had fun with that, uh, with that shift. Leo and I uh, have been working together since about July. Uh, but it is time to take a look back and see what uh, this year has brought us. And I think what better way to honor a year of iOS than to go back to a time when Megan, Miss iDevice Maroney, and Jason, the jolly Android Howl, swapped devices. Here's how the two were feeling after using the other's platform of choice for a bit. I want you, Jason, to tell us how much you loved using this iPad. The biggest guy <laughs> with the one. littlest iPad. <laughs> so oh. you weren't using this one. No, you I wasn't. Using the she was, iPad you, Pro. you were using an 11 inch. Yeah, so I was using the iPad Pro, and I'm, I'm sure you know you were using the Pixel Slate on. Uh oh, my volume is up. Let me turn it down. In the past, um, I have to say, you've uh, uh, Megan has enjoyed using. Her uh, her Android tablets. Yeah. Well, I we never switched tablets before. We just used I just phone used the rather than the Android phone. Yeah, yeah. I did enjoy. But this the is Pixel. a little different because this is a Chrome OS. Yeah. I mean, the the thought was that I I was using the Chrome OS that supports Android apps for a lot of my productivity here. Pr pretty much my primarily my primary device here. And Megan, you have the iPad Pro with the keyboard attachment. So we we're like, well, why don't we switch them because they're very similar. And it did not take us. I think both of us would agree. It did not take us very long for us to realize what a mistake that, you had made that it was really apples to oranges yeah right yeah like chrome os it's it's meant for multitasking it's meant for being product you know in a productive uh sort of environment layout yes it supports android apps but you really probably don't want to run android apps most on android it. apps aren't very good on it. uh they aren't very good if there's a website component that's probably what you want to opt for um using the ipad pro like it's it's a really fantastic tablet um, I could not use it in the same way that I use the the Pixel Slate on a daily basis, putting together our show notes, constructing it all within the device. Like I really tried and uh, all it did was slow me down and frustrate me. <laughs> and so at a certain point, I had to kind of like give up on that, which is what I wanted to commit to was just using that for everything. And I just, I couldn't do it if I wanted to keep my job here. Even people <laughs> who are fans, as I am of the iPad, often feel like... Uh, Apple's overselling it as a laptop replacement. Mm -hmm. It isn't. Well, and I think I think one of the big kind of, uh, and we've Megan and I have talked about this a lot, one of the big reasons why people feel that they can actually do that, whereas I probably, you know, couldn't, given my, my, uh, my normal app usage, is that I use Google's apps, which are fine there, but they're not designed for specifically for being productive on the on the iPad. What specific issues did you have on iOS with Google Apps that you don't have on other platforms? Um, really, it, the, the little finicky things, right? Like if I'm pulling up a doc and I want to edit, you know, enter stuff into there and kind of jump around and and everything. Weird little things would happen. A, a screen, you know, the keyboard would, you know, pop up and, and push me out. Uh, of course, having the keyboard attachment made that less uh, of a problem. Just weird little things that would just happen and kind of slow me down and I would just get frustrated and they kept happening. And I wish I could give you more concrete examples than that. But working within the dock on a browser where it's designed to be, right? Like Google has made their their Google Docs meant to be in a browser with a keyboard and a trackpad. The trackpad was a big, like I, I felt like I was missing out on having the trackpad. So even if you opened, you can't put Chrome on, on iOS. Even if you'd opened uh, Google Drive in Chrome, the lack of a trackpad. I mean, that would be a bummer for me just because it, it would slow me down. Well, you could do it though. You could do it, absolutely. Yeah. You could yeah. make that happen. I just, I just kept getting slowed down. And, it's frustrating. Uh, it, it was really yeah. frustrating after yeah. a while, and uh, yeah, didn't didn't quite enjoy that aspect. How of about it. you, Megan? 
I, uh, I had the same experience with like Google Sheets on the iPad. Um, the way I described it on Tech News Weekly, it's like that scene in Gremlins where it's the middle of the night and they're all out and they're just like <laughs> throwing everything around. It just feels like just, you yep. have no idea, but you can't format things it's and all the chaos. Goes, yeah, totally. And you feel like you don't know what it is and it just must be a gremlin in there. Um, but I did feel, I did like using the Pixel Slate. And my, what I learned most. This is not the Pixel Slate. No, this, this is, is the, the iPad. iPad. We don't have the Pixel Slate here. Would you uh, throw it out the window? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I broke it. And it landed on my desk. And so it's sitting it's in a, there it's to a, this day. It's a, just to be clear, it's a tablet, roughly yeah. the same size as the 12 inch, mm -hmm. right? The 12.9 inch uh, iPad. But it has uh, Chrome OS on it, not. Android on right. it. You can get the Android store, but it's it's a different operating system yes. designed really around the Chrome browser. So yeah. it is, it's kind of a mess, the difference between the Chrome app store and the Android app store. And they're kind of in some uh, middle ground, which yeah, I even the like Android well. folks mm -hmm. and the and us on This Week in Google agree that the Android app integration on Chrome OS is far from. It's me. like last resort. And, yeah. and actually, when Megan, when you first got the, t the tablet, you know, that first day, you were like, man, I'm, I'm installing all of these apps. Oh, big and, mistake. You know, I was yeah. kind of hearing some frustration. I was like, no, don't do that. Just use it for the web. Most like, Android apps don't work well on Chrome. There's Chrome. apps on here. Why would I choose not to use the app and to use the website instead? And that's because, like, they are, they're just very different beasts, right? Chrome OS is meant to be used as a browser. Android apps is like a last resort. If that, right. if that, Thing, that service that you want to use doesn't have a website or a good website or whatever, then maybe resort to the app well, and that's better than nothing. The example I always use is there's really photo editing on Chrome OS isn't easy, but Snapseed is available in the Android store and it works fairly well. That's a Google editor, which we actually use on iOS too. And it works fairly well. So you can do some photo editing. Right. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot. And I did like, I liked that it has multi-user support. I love yeah. the trackpad. It has two USB ports. So you could charge and connect to a bigger monitor at the same time. I liked all of those things. What my biggest thing that I learned from this was that, you know, we throw out the idea of like marzipan, like what if iOS and macOS join together and why do we really need two? But would you get a delicious almond confection? You would. Yeah. No, you'd probably get a mess and it makes sense. <laughs> like why marzipan. It's very hard. Like to me, using the iPad is a completely different experience than using my yeah. laptop. I love them both and I just, and I'm lucky to have them both and I use them both very differently. Yeah. And I can't imagine using, just combining them. I feel like you lose too much. Of course, there's nothing quite so magical as, and I do quote Megan Maroney on this, two old people explaining memes. Um, here's a, this is an app, uh, and you can take the, this is not $16 a month. For $2, you can take the ads out, but it's free otherwise. It's called Meme Generator. Mm -hmm. um, let's say Admiral Akbar. he's the guy in Star Trek who said it's a trap, Right. So we could take an Admiral Akbar. In fact, they even offer you an example. You don't need to get me anything for Christmas. It's a trap. Get it? Ah. Yeah. So the examples it. are nice because it <laughs> tries to... No, let's not do that. <laughs> the girl asks you if you want to walk with her. It's a trap. See, so they give... So if you are meme challenged, you can use the existing memes... Uh, on here and get an idea. Here's Angry Walter. This, of course, is from the great movie, The The uh, Great Gatsby, which we all, we all <laughs> the love. The Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski. Lebowski. I knew it was one of those. Uh, here's an example. Am I the only one around here who flushes? I should give that to <laughs> that uh, Josh uh, Windish used to. Say that? Yeah, I could have put that up. Oops. So this is a fun thing to do is put this up on the cubicle mm -hmm. wall, mm -hmm. right? Am I the only one around here who uses incognito? So the you get it. Am I the only one around here? And then who thinks pugs are ugly? I don't. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, so this is meme generator, and I like it because if you are meme challenged, you don't know what the memes are. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go find some. It gives you a whole bunch to start with, but again, there's always that risk. And one of the reasons you might want to pay for meme generators is there's always the risk. That you're going to get a meme that's been done to death. There's oh. Bob Ross. I wonder yeah. what, they don't have any examples for Bob Ross. I guess you, you just, just like, you should yeah. just know. You yeah. shouldn't. Bruce Lee. Just, yeah. How about some Bruce Lee? Let's get an example. So Intruder breaks in, gets served finest home ass kicking. That's okay. <laughs> it's really easy to go wrong 
on memes. Um, it is. Uh, you, some people have tin ear, meme tin ears. Now, this is a classic from The Lord of the Rings. Uh -huh. So we know that's 10 years old now. That's right. Boromir. Right, right. And I think that the original is one doesn't just go to whatever it was. What is it, Kevin? Mortar? One does not simply walk into Mordor, but they took this, and so one does not simply, and then sleep without a blanket. Okay. Mm. Okay. It's funny Is because it? it's true. <laughs> one does not simply eat the suggested serving size. Uh, yeah. That's so get, good. That's good. Yeah. So you see, one does not simply stop eating Cheetos. So- the key on a meme is that you, people have to recognize the original image, the original mm -hmm. source. They have to know that quote. One does not simply walk into Mordor mm -hmm. and then supply the punchline. So it's really comedy in, yeah. in its most basic form. But, okay, so the, there's also the difference between memes and GIFs. Like, many memes include GIFs. Some include Yeah, these are still... static uh, memes. Yes. This is one of the oldest memes. Do you know this meme? No, it's a cat. Ceiling uh, cat. See A cat... Well, a square There's a, cut in the hole in the ceiling yeah, and, a cat and a cat looking, looking through, through it. it. Now, this picture apparently appeared at some point on the internet, and then people started memifying it. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at pictures of other cats if you got me? Mm, good one. Ceiling cat says. Uh, your KD ratio is miserable. That's a gaming okay. reference. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about Jesus <laughs> Christ? Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's three of them. That's three of them. Okay, okay. But that's okay. going to be a little education for those of us who are meme impaired to understand that's a, that's like one of the oldest memes out there. Yeah. Look at all these memes, alphabetical order. You, you, if you don't, if you're not a memer and you want to pose as a memer, a memer poser. Mm -hmm. That's a good place to start. Good place to start. Dangerously Austin Powers. I noticed you don't have a case on your phone. I also like to live dangerously. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Between Leo's huge peddler's pack and our matching app caps at the time, there were a few highlights in my first in-studio episode of iOS today. It's time to put on your special Aussie cap. I'm going to do it with the flap up version. How do we have matching Aussie caps? This is a little weird. I'm just going to say. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> we're we're app capped today to show us show you our apps of the week. Like <laughs> a sergeant, why don't you commence, <laughs> mate? I I will get started. Yeah, put put your app on the Barbie. Right. <laughs> and I apologize to all our uh, Australian listeners of whom there are. Great oh many. my lord! We should demonstrate this. But I don't know if we can really can do it properly. Can both of us FaceTime each other. Can I FaceTime you? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you can. So this, there's, so they're using the AR, the augmented reality. We won't. By the way, it's good you went to your phone. It won't work on anything but an iPhone 10 uh, S or uh, uh, 10 because it no that it needs the face stuff on the front of the camera. But it's going to use AR, and as you know, as everybody knows, when you're using FaceTime, you look at yourself. Right? Yes. You're not looking at the camera. Um, Here, what's I'll, your, put it, I'll put in my Put number. your FaceTime ID in there, because I'd, I'd really like to see if we can get this to work. So, and I do this with my mom. In fact, when you've seen Mary on our show, you know I'm always saying, Mom, don't look at me. <laughs> look at the camera. It's really bad on an iPad, because the camera's off to the left. She says, but I'm not looking at you. I said, no, it's a little confusing. So let me FaceTime you with video. We'll just see if this is going to work. Okay, look at the camera. So that's going to be normal. Okay, Don't open your eyes real wide. Just okay. normal. Look at the camera. Mm -hmm. Now look at me. Look at the camera. Now look at me. Okay. If you were wearing Old Spice. Oh, no, that's the wrong. Ad. <laughs> that's an ad. <laughs> that's pretty good. So it's subtle. And it doesn't work if you look really far off. But it does. I, honest to God, it's kind of creepy like the Mona Lisa. You're following me around. Yeah. And I just don't like what it does with. It's not doing eyes. it with me. Now watch. This is without it. Right? I'm looking at your face. Yes. And, and your eyes like on it? here looking at my face, not at the camera. Yeah, that's because I have a lazy eye. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll have my eyes wide. That is weird. That is really weird. Okay, it works. It works. It works. Boy, that was a long way to go. We, you know, we got there. I feel like I ran a marathon today. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of that. 
This oh is a peddler's goodness. backpack. But it has your name on it. That's kind of nice. Well, I know. That's really vain and stupid. But, <laughs> but uh, this is a Tumi, which is a kind of a high-priced... Uh, it's not a Tumi. It's a Tumi. Fancy brand. And one of the things on the Tumi, and this is leather, which is another reason that actually I, I, I'm sometimes reluctant to take this, because it looks like there might be something expensive in it, right? Yeah. It's real leather? Yeah. And I thought, well, if I put my name on it, nobody will steal it. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but I love Toomey stuff. Mm -hmm. I really do. And they also have a serial number inside. So if you lose it and you happen to find the one honest person in Budapest, they they can they can email Toomey. Okay, that's And Toomey will say, neat. oh, that's Leo's. And here's how you get it back to him. But just like yours, it, it, what, it, what it lacks, and I wish it had. The other bag I often use, it's more dressed down so it doesn't look so valuable. Mm -hmm. It's from eBags, and it does have uh, a little front pouch for the power supply. And I wish this had that. Um, but it is nice. pretty hefty, and it has a big slot for the tablet or the pad, right? So that your, your laptop could okay. go right in there. Yeah, mine goes inside yeah. the main pouch. Uh, the other thing I look for, and I don't know if yours has this, but I like to keep my keys in my backpack. Yes. Do you have a little my keys. A key hook, a little chain? I don't, so that's the one thing. I forgot that this didn't have a hook, so I was trying to find it to put my keys on, and it doesn't have one Yeah, of those. see, I think that's a feature that... Uh, it would be nice to have. I'm literally going to sew one into this bag finish. when I get back. I'm going to. So the reason that you could do that also is because if you've got a lot of stuff in your bag, you can fish your keys out. Very... Now Leo can't find them though, so he's kind of. So I lied. What the hell is going on? <laughs> where's Did my you hook? Steal my steal my hook. It's in here somewhere. Oh my stars! Where is oh, wait my hook? Oh wait a minute! There. See that is there. Oh, is. there you go. So you just pull on that, <laughs> and there's your keys. Nice. It's not an easy thing, but you can get them. You can get it out that way. So, um, and this, by the way, another thing I recommend, and I don't remember where I got this, but I this is that. a keychain. It's not one of those. No, it's not? No, it's a chain, but what it does have is a quick release. <gasps> so Even you could better. just quickly take keys off and on of it. So if you, you know, you pull up and you want to give the valet Parker your key, it comes off very easily and it goes back on very easily without having to thread it through. This. I like that. I've got, yeah. I don't know if I have them with me now uh, to show off my own sort of quick release thing. That's key. Isn't that is it? key. Very yeah. good. I Get like it? that. Get it? Good Get pun. It? Get it. And there's the there's the serial number. See the barcode and everything. Now that, that's unique write that to each down. bag. Yeah, write that down. So if you find my bag, you know where to. So this. Oh wait a minute. Now this I'm interested in. This is called the night here. Let me see if it's better on the iPad. Isn't it funny how screen. geeks love stuff like geeks this? Love stuff like this. Um. And each of these, you can get them in locked, ones that have locks on them. And here, let me make sure. So they're sure. not removable. So they're not easily removable. Good. Or you can get one that don't have this plastic thing. So I twist this plastic thing, and then it allows me to move, open up that carabiner clip, essentially. <sighs> and then Okay, I like that. Them off. I can slide it back on. And then if it's, so if it's something that I'm going to be taking off and on a lot, yeah. then I will keep this uh, plastic part unlocked. But most of these keys stay on. So it's uh, it's kind times. of locked in. It's not easy for the valet to take it or whatever. Exactly. Look what you carry on there. Now this Aren't you a smart be, fella? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Now stop. Oh, stop. So you have the adapter for the the uh, lightning to headphone adapter mm -hmm. for your your uh, iPhone. But in order to carry it on the keychain, you carry something special on the keychain, which is a little one of those jacks, like a headphone jack. Mm -hmm. But is it especially, it's designed for a keychain because it has a little loop on it. Yes, and I wish I could remember the name of this company. Um, I've seen people make them, but it's nice that you could just buy them. Yeah, Amazon, and they're like super cheap too. Yeah, that's a great thing. So it's really nice to always have that. The problem is now that I've gotten so used to it being on my keychain, I forget that I have one on my keychain. So I'm always grabbing the an extra one. Yeah. So maybe that's nice because I've got one extra just in case where maybe I you wouldn't never, have passed. The, the worst thing in the world is to get on an airplane oh, for golly. a long flight with small children. And you, and you have no way of using your headphones. Or just with my own thoughts. Like, I don't want that. I don't want my thoughts. Yeah. No. Leo and I also spent a totally reasonable and entirely justified amount of time goofing around with some fun apps. So FaceApp is the app for different platforms that uses artificial intelligence to do all sorts of uh, designs and and fun filters for your photos. It's a lot of Fs there. Um, so it can do makeup. 
It can make you old. It can make you young. It can give you gray hair. It can give you long hair. All sorts of things. Uh, over time, the app has improved to offer oh, more look. features. <laughs> it makes somebody look days. like Micah Sargent. Yeah, there's a Micah Sargent <laughs> filter. Um, I actually shared on Twitter today some of the options that are available. Um, so this one shows me with bangs. Uh, so <laughs> that's clearly I need you know what? That's bangs. uncannily uh, realistic looking. I'm impressed with how realistic it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The next one is... I can't remember. Oh, yeah. So I thought this was really cool. I didn't have to do any editing at all to add that background. It uploaded the photo. This is the one bad thing about Face App that you need to be aware of. It's sending these things off to a server to be processed and edited. It doesn't do it on the device. Um, and so just keep that in mind when you are using this, that you know the privacy policy is an important thing to be aware of because we don't exactly know sort of what they might do with the photos after they're done with them and who yada 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 the the the, the regular thing uh what am i trying to say caveat that you should be aware of um but regardless of that i was very impressed with you know a lot of times apps try to do that an example of that would be a photo booth where you're supposed to be able to move out of the frame and then it captures the background then you get back in frame and it can give you that wallpaper effect well help, it doesn't work help that me well. do this because i i uh, okay. i want to look younger now I okay. could, I have been using the crest whitening strip. So let's That's let's, true. So that was let's step see. one. So so to yeah. take a picture of yourself, right? A, a picture of yourself with you sort of in the frame. What's your suggestion? Uh, Does it matter if you your eyes are open I wide? I suggest or? you don't smile, but keep kind of a neutral face. Okay. Uh, and that your eyes are looking directly at the camera, which there's no FaceTime attention correction for right. this. So. Okay, so that looks pretty good, right? All right. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. Now click now, use. Processing the photo. I presume that's really uploading it to their server. Uploading to their servers okay. and sort of getting a, a basic understanding of, of your facial features and where they are. I'm just curious. Uh, can I just add a beard? Yeah, you can just add a beard if you want to. Oh, Let's look at see that. What it I've always wondered what I would look like. <laughs> it kind of knows I'd be the oh, most call, interesting call man in the world. <laughs> I was thinking it's interesting that it knew yeah. that I had a gray beard. How does it know my <laughs> beard would be gray? I guess it just matches my hair color. Yeah, looked at your hair color and your eyebrows and sort of uh, did a did a mix between those. Do you think if I have a mustache, I'd look like a yes? Porn oh star. no, let's never do that. <laughs> it's nice to know you kind of get an idea of like what would I look like with. By the way, you then, can take off the beard too if you have yes. a beard. Yes. So I have facial hair, and and so I wanted to see what it would do when I had facial hair, and it actually was able to remove my facial hair that I have and just show the ones that I wanted. This hey, is, that looks pretty good. This is hipster because it's like yeah. one of those, I don't know how you do it, magic beards. It kind of looks like you didn't shave, but it's a little longer than that. Okay, looks that's beards. Like I could change my, I could see, you remember I was going to change my hair color? Let's, uh, yeah. let's 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 see what happens if I dye it. my hair brown. Do I look younger? No. Wow. <laughs> I look like wow. Better Call Saul. That's terrible. <laughs> That's a terrible right. look. Um, not gonna do that. Uh, okay. I don't want to say who I look like, but blonde does not suit me either. All right. How about <laughs> I can do hairstyles? I can do glasses. Should I make myself even older? Try the old feature. Let's see. It makes me look horrible. Oh. oh. And no. Gee, I look like Freddy Krueger. That is <laughs> that is not a good look. How about younger? Can, can we? Yeah, 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 baby. Oh, I I look like uh, OMG Chad. <laughs> oh my, that's that's not what I looked like as a kid. By the way, it gave me acne, which I think is pretty funny. That is funny. Yeah. And you see that on the bottom right there, right above the, the tile choices, yeah. there's a little, it's like an arrow on either side with a line in the middle. That lets you easily see. You tap and hold on to that to see, well, you have to, once you add a filter first. Okay. Um, you could turn it on and off and stuff. Yeah. Basically Should you I can get a see, face tattoo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Watch out. Beautiful. Watch out, Mike Tyson. Yeah. And you see those little sliders there, folks. That slider lets you kind of increase or decrease the the darkness of the tattoo. In this case, um, depending on which one you're doing, there are different options there. Uh, so if we go to, after Leo's done with his face tattoos, if we go to makeup. Yeah. Uh, so is that under fun? Oh, no, there uh, no, it there is. Should be one called, yeah. There's makeup. Do you okay. see one that has like the three bars in the right yeah. corner? Yeah. Is in the left corner? Yeah. Yeah. Tap on one of those. So this is just like an intensity slider. <laughs> Ooh, how nice. A nice red stick. 
This somehow it looks like I might be that crazy person in the horror uh, slasher ooh, flick. Ooh. I like to wear in the best. I like to wear women's clothing. Uh, let's see, Matt. That's better. Yeah. Uh, can I not have red lipstick? Do I get to? Here's I think that the one, you know, the the left choice is the least extreme uh, of those three different uh -huh. choices. Okay. <laughs> still, still look, a little bit. I still of look like the Joker. Too. I'm sorry. I got to say. Uh, but there are a broad variety of makeups. I'm sure on a uh, an attractive woman. Uh, we should oh, show the one of bad. mine with makeup because it's horrible. Yeah, it you looks look like, like a clown. I, it looks like a clown. It looks like I went to sleep with makeup on, yeah. and then my dogs licked my face, and also someone poured water on me, and then right. I woke up, and that's how I looked. Right. Oh, so you can also flick through these. Let's see, hair colors. Oh, fun is just some uh, different fun ideas. Fun are just, yeah, some sort of built-in ones where they do several different features like they time, show you. Here's time travel. As I get, fun. as I age, you. yesterday, today, <laughs> and tomorrow. tomorrow. You know, I kind of like that. And I'm going to share that out to my non-existent uh, Instagram account. There you go. Yeah. Or on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, so, it's fun. You know, it, it's been around for a while and it but used to not have as stuff. many options. Yeah. They've added so many options. Yeah. And like I said, some of those, um, the ones where it adds a background to it, I was really impressed with how well it cut out my actual head shape and showed that background behind where I didn't have to do any adjustments to that at all. Um, I don't know. Can we show my old man person? That one's pretty scary, Yeah. Uh, frankly. There's, oh, that's exactly what you're going to look like. I hope not. <laughs> that's actually... I, crazy yeah let me take but, my mom i'm gonna take so you can take other people's pictures i'm gonna take my mom yes. and make her young let's see what, right. what will happen with mary laporte um that's a little creepy it doesn't yeah, it doesn't, so the photo is is not uh, yeah. not uh there's some shadows and things that if kind of I make sent it her this she would kind of freak i think but this is fun so you could take yeah. other people's pictures you don't you don't have to. I'm not going to. Should I just do you this to make it in, in honor of. In honor. Yes. She'll be so glad. Oh, this will be fun. I don't know. What, <laughs> what I should. What should I do to her? Should I uh, get, give her a beard? Let's try it. Let's see let's what. See. Um, it's not, it's not a, a perfect photo. So, again, you want to be full face kind of. <laughs> okay. That's kind of mean. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I won't do that to her. That's, you know, but let's let, we could age her. I could age her. Uh, let's, uh, I, let's see what she'll look like. Old. This is fun. So it and, is fun. And this isn't, Love. this is, oh, poor Megan. That's, that's is exactly why she left the show. See, that's yeah. how she looks. I miss Dunn her. Winton. So, so, <laughs> But I would always take bad pictures of her. I, I promise not. I promise not to do that. Face you can app. take bad pictures of it's Face okay. app. And you can, by the way, uh, search for people. And, you know, if you feel like, I think, you know, Justin Bieber, I would like to know what he's going to look like when he gets older. You can actually, <laughs> they have a celebrities catalog and you can take that. And let's just, let's just see what Justin's going to be when he gets to be my age. Damn it, he's still a good-looking fella. <laughs> uh, with that, one of the things that I've noticed is it, when you're working on a photo, um, after you sort of do the the processing, you can always go back to that one that you chose, and it'll pretty much immediately pull it up. So it sends it off to the server. Oh, within, it keeps it on the server. Reason. Yeah, yeah, it kind of yeah, keeps yeah. it and lets you see it. But I think that that's like per session. So if you were to go out and then go back in ah, and choose a different photo, then okay. that's going to be different. But uh, it's kind of nice that you know, as you're sort of oh, we're well, going through and having a laugh, but then you choose the one that you actually want. You're not waiting, waiting, waiting for it to process again. This is actually useful because it's it's uh, it really kind of helped me decide never to dye my hair. <laughs> there you go. Yep. And I kind of liked it, like I said, for seeing what uh, a different facial hairstyle would look I like. Think or that's there's, really, there's a it, bald option. It's tempted me uh, when I want to be the ancient mariner. Uh, you know, as soon as I take off of my sailboat, that's it. There you go. That's what I'm going to I think like. it's a good look for you. I do. I think it should give you a choice of a David Letterman beard, though. <laughs> One of those big, long, <laughs> really. Nice. How about a little goatee? I, wouldn't, I might look good with a goatee. No. <laughs> there you go. I like looking like the most interesting man in the world. That's my choice. Full beard. Pretty close, right? <laughs> I think so.
By the way, I oh, have you got your, yes, a tinfoil hat in honor of your tinfoil hat. This Love is, it. This is cool. So it actually can go out and see. For instance, a lot of times when you use the oh, iPhone, perfect. you take much multiple pictures, right? So this is Lisa blowing out her birthday candles. Maybe not the greatest, but you can but you can try other ones. I have a lot of apparently. Uh, at one point, I I was really uh, posing for my selfies, and I took several images of me at the same time. So Love show me it. some of the things I can do here. I can yeah, put a so frame on it. You can add a frame to the outside. That is a premium feature. So again, we oh, talked about in-app purchases. Okay. Um, but the AR is not a premium feature, and that's one of my favorite ones. I don't ones. understand. So, what would AR do? Well, that's where it can find... That's, that's where those donuts were coming loop, from? The donuts, yeah. <gasps> it finds kind of the edges of the person that's in frame and then makes it so that it looks like it was kind of built into the photo. Look, See, your, I'm on fire. your hotness <laughs> isn't in front of your head. Your hotness is sort of in the background it. behind well, this you. This is kind of cool. So the hearts are coming out from behind my head. Yeah, and some depending on what you use, it, it can interact with the photo in different ways. Um, so it's I this like is that one. Cool. Or, Donuts too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There's the donies. Uh, you can add music, <laughs> uh, so that way you would export it as a video as opposed to uh, a GIF or a live photo, which I think is kind of neat that you can export it as oh, a live photo, so it can use Apple money. sort of built-in thing. Oh. How much does it cost for the premium features? Oh, the premium features. And see, I got in on this. I'm grandfathered in for a while. Um, so see, I slowed it down a little bit. looks a little bit better there. Yeah. You can get it for a one-time purchase of $80. That's for the rest of life. Uh, 10 bucks a month or a one-time or a, a, an annual plan of $48. It is rather expensive for if you want to have all of the features, I guess if you, uh, I, I kind of think of it as somebody who's like a social media account manager where you're probably trying to take GIFs a lot and share them on, on social yeah, media and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. It's not necessarily those premium features, I think, I for... say this is pretty good to have the donuts coming out of my head. Yeah, isn't that fun? That yeah. it, it took the photo, it figured out what was the foreground and the background. Yeah, it did and, a good job. I like this that I can pick from, uh, is, it, is, is it movies or is it just wherever... All right, let's do you, Micah. All right. It is movies. It is uh, a series of photos and live photos. So this is a video I took. So I could ch I could I could loop it, which I think is good. Or I think bounce. I like bounce. I love bounce. Yeah. Bounce is my favorite because then it kind of looks continuous. It looks like you're never going to stop talking. And then I like, what should I? Like I, I wonder if this will work because I this isn't a, this is a picture of you on the TV. Let's see if this will work. I'm going to put something. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. It's got little Cheerios coming down from the sky. <laughs> That's good. Little confetti. That's good. That's good. Ooh, what else could I do to this? Should I speed it up? Yeah, that's one of, kind of my one of my favorite things to do is uh, speed it up. Because it doesn't speed up the background. It just speeds up you. So the background continues to fall at the same speed. I like that. Cool. This is really nice. I like this. And then go ahead and click uh, save. Yeah. Because this is the part that I want to make sure people see. See these different options for HD. Oh, I can make it square. Can, yeah. For Instagram. So perfect for social media. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then three different options. Save as a GIF, save as a video, or save as a live photo. I oh. like that live photo is an option here. Given that, that you know, usually yeah. only comes from Apple. That's an Apple feature. Save as a GIF, video, or live photo. Oh, this is this is actually really good. It's a little eighty bucks is a little pricey. Yeah, it is a little pricey, um, and that's why I said when it comes to sort of the other features that this app offers, I really think it's more for a social media manager, somebody like that, where they're not paying this purchase price on their own. But for the standard features, right. uh, especially with the AR being free, that one's kind of fun just to quickly add a little bit of uh, dynamics to the background of a photo that you're taking. And if you're an influencer, it's probably worth that money, 80 bucks. Yeah, that's By true By the way, too. search for Not Memento because Memento is uh, another app that's very popular. Search for GIF Maker by Memento and you'll be able to find it a little easier. Apple's uh, search still leaves a bit to be desired. Oh, look at that. When I was visiting Google and my friend Yasmin. Oh, that's so cool with donuts flying. This is the question now. Okay. Do you ever go to Alibaba? <gasps> AliExpress. No, I don't. So It's like shopping on eBay for me. I don't do that. Alibaba is the Amazon of China. Right. So they are very aggressive in terms of pricing. Mm-hmm. 
Um, maybe a little bit less, maybe more low end uh, stuff. I wouldn't, you know, like I don't know what this is, but I wouldn't buy it uh, from. Whoa! <laughs> I wouldn't buy it from Alibaba. Whatever it is, I think it's a wig. It, it's supposed to be. Yeah, but who can tell? Discover your style. Is that your style? Yeah, mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. It's only a the crimped hair look. Yeah. So it's a kinky straight lace front human hair wigs bleached knots Brazilian Remy wear hair wig glueless with baby hair 130% density. Oh, it's got baby hair. It's got baby hair. It's human hair. Um, well, they say. They say. Well, it's China. You don't know. It might be human prisoner hair. Oh, dear so, God. So uh, they do have reviews. I mean, it's very... And now, here's a couple of things to, to note. Um, when you order something like this, it will say... Sometimes it will say... You're going to get it in eight months. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other problem. I don't have that patience. Well, okay, this one's not too bad. Uh, I could get this beautiful kinky well, human you hair choose your wig length first. by August fifteenth, uh, twenty-two inches. Because there's going only the one left, only two one. left, one left. That's got to be a lie. See, I don't trust anything I read here. That so ha okay. Then let me ask you: Have you ordered from this site before? Um, I have a, a couple of times when it was something so cheap and I didn't really care. Uh, but I do know a lot of people use it in shop now. And you got the, you the got warning it. I was going to give you is sometimes it will say you won't get this for ninety days. Okay. And you do, and then my experience has been you get it in the normal like couple of weeks. But there's oh. it's shipping from China, mm -hmm. so sometimes uh, they're just uh, erring on the side of uh, safety. This is I would not buy anything that you. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. You know what to buy here and what not to buy here. Gotcha. Uh, if you want. Um, 30 millimeter thick makeup lashes or 12 pairs of hoop earrings. Maybe Leo, have you seen my you. natural eyelashes? <laughs> yeah, I don't need those. You don't need those. Um, <laughs> but that, that I need. That hair is great. Only $4. Here's a digital cents. watch for a buck 82. See, um, that's the stupid stuff that I would probably buy that yeah. I don't need. What's confusing here is it says women digital watch men. <laughs> don't know what that means. It is only $2. It looks rose gold though. How but see, estimated delivery September twentieth. Oh, that's a long time. From see, now. so it's not. It's not. It kind of cures the impulse. That's true. I like here's, that. Here's yeah. acrylic rhinestones. What's um, this finger situation? Go. Is that those fingers? <laughs> it looks like gorilla hands. That's really. It's snake oil, tender hand cream, hand care, antibacterial, anti chapping, what chapping, whitening, nourishing, anti aging skin care cream for people with hands that look like gorillas. Oh gosh, that's a human's hands. I don't know where they went to get this. But again, you see, this is so. This is like Tiger Balm or stuff. You know, it's uh, anyway. I know someone's bought, uh, you know, Moshi tape. Yeah, uh, Moshi tape be perfect to buy there, right? Yeah, and they bought that there. Oh, yeah. a car seat. See, I don't think I'm going to do that. Baby stereotypes. It's one of those things you'd have to air out, like you said. Yeah, you'd really, you know, this would kind of be funky when you open it up. What's that little cherry thing there? Oh God, why do they have to show those teeth? <laughs> I Alibaba on this is site. the National Enquirer of shopping sites. It's I love kind of it. it's down market. It's weird. Um, you thought you got a deal with the eight dollar AirPods, a <laughs> buck seventy three. What I love here, Leo, how is low it, can they go? How low can you go? You got Sky Mall for Wish. You've got um, National Enquirer for Alibaba. Yeah, I hope you can come up with a comparison for uh, we'll, we'll keep going doing. but i just i think that it's a good thing to have alibaba in your back i'm gonna pocket. have to do that i'm gonna have to well see then i'm gonna spin. don't be scared off by the shipping times because my experience has been there usually faster the stuff they sell is oh i the gotta kind, have that apple watch yeah yeah a dollar 29 for that apple watch there is a deal <laughs> wow i mean it's just i think it's kind of fun to browse through Ooh. that's how i feel about wish nice Here's a sticker for a uh, buck ninety four cost actually costs more than your AirPods. <laughs> so, but it's for the AirPods. So, um, oh, breastfeeding bra. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I all I can say is, if you trust Alibaba for your baby's jammies, you can get them cheap here. I think they'd. Bur I would stay away from open flame. You got a I'm baby shower saying. to go to. Baby, yeah. You Stop. don't like the people too much. Wait a minute. Even better, a buck twenty-two for oh, these video. AirPods. Wow, premium. Yeah, experience. premium. Look, the video. It opens. Uh -huh. They're inside. They don't really quite fit right. <laughs> they don't fit quite. They kind of. They're kind of not <laughs> symmetrical. Um, <laughs> yeah, you get a unique shape with every. Yeah, order. yeah. Uh, but you know, for all you know, these are made in the same plant that Apple makes its AirPods. True. 
And I'm telling you, we got to keep shopping because like, can we go lower than a buck twenty two? A dot one dollar twenty two cents. Um. Oh, there's thirty two oh. cents. No, those are the silicone tips for oh. the AirPods. Oh, one, yeah, one, one, one. A dollar eleven. Now you see why I use this site. It's so a go good ahead and game. order those. No, I'm not going to order see? those. See, it's a fun game, I guess. But you're yeah. just playing it with yourself. Dollar five. The shipping is a buck. The shipping costs more than the the, the, the AirPods. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> um, beautiful. They're light and sound great. So I, you know, oh. I've now found the best price. Wow. 98, 98 cents. cents for AirPods. It even comes with a charging cable, the battery box. You should order those. Should we order them and just see? Can we please? That'd be fun. Just see how. We can follow up. Because wouldn't it be ironic? If they're really good or they're just like they're fine. How good does it have to be for a buck? The shipping is five to United States via China Post Ordinary Small Packet, which means... Wow. Oh, if I pay two bucks, I can get it by August 31st. If I pay 55 bucks. <laughs> wow. Maybe pay the three. What's the cheapest? Okay. 274. It's like three times the price of the. Uh, <laughs> but for the fun, Leo. The AirPods. All right. I'm not going to order it now, but I will order. Uh, and we'll that'd be fun see. for a later show. Yeah. We'll sometime follow up. next year, we'll have the <laughs> doll dollar 98 cents. 98 cent AirPods. Oh, I'm so excited. You put them in your ear and you uh, are activated. It's the Manchurian candidate. And I have to say, I was excited. I had the absolute pleasure of co-hosting iOS Today with the one and only Megan Maroney. You brought something with you that folks have been talking a lot about. Well, you kind of brought some. You brought your phone, which has it on there, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So um, I got an email uh, last week, late last week, Thursday, um, saying I was invited. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> invited exclusive. To get the Apple card. And I've never been invited by Apple to do anything. <laughs> Um, so the fact that they were just inviting me to spend money, that they would take a cut of every purchase I made, that didn't matter. I was invited. invited. I was invited. Yeah. And I can make a guess. They said it's, you know, so I signed up, you know, to be notified, but there's a slow rollout and I can, I can make some educated guesses, um, because for the five years I was here working, um, at Twit, I would buy every new iPhone, every new iPad. Of course, I would charge that to, I mean, I would expense that and mm. then Leo would end up paying, but it came, you know, it came through my- But now my, you're Leo, right? So I have to charge you? Is <laughs> exactly, that works, right? yes. But it came through my Apple ID and I used my credit card. So they were like, look, this lady has some dough. Little ah. did they know. <laughs> so I got it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna sign up. So it really took five minutes to sign up. I, I gave them my information. I took a picture of my driver's license. Um, I'm sure I gave them my social security card, but not really. Pricked not, your finger, not, gave them a little bit of blood. Not that much of stuff. And then it was like, you just wait and then you get, I got approved. Um, so whether I deserve it to be approved or not, that is, you know, we'll see. Um, if I end up asking for money and, you know, because I've overspent <laughs> on my Apple like, card. Um, hey. But it was so easy. And like, I come from a generation where you used to like have to write your social security number in every little box and then send oh, it yeah. away. And I mean, I still, I say I come from a generation, but we were doing that pretty much maybe last year or two years ago. I think I did that earlier this year. <laughs> yeah. So I have some screenshots of what it looks like. So I, um, my first purchase was at Acre Coffee down the road and I bought some coffee and, and so it turned it turns color when you buy something. So Do you know have you done see this is my problem is I'd start spending money trying to see what, what, yeah. what how it changes yeah, you color. Yeah, just buy random stuff. Cuz that looks kind of coffee colored. Yeah, it is. I think it was food and coffee. So and then I bought some clothes and it's still sort of orange so I'm not exactly sure oh. what that means. I guess now it's you can show this it is yellow and orange. Okay, yeah, I do so see like a nice little uh, maybe yellow I on the bought, Yeah, so maybe it's clothes and coffee. I don't know. Honestly, it looks like a makeup palette. It, does, it really does. Um, but yeah, I haven't paid any bills with it. And so when I, you know, when we started the show, I said like, this is a credit card I don't need because I don't need it. I have two other credit cards that are great. Um, I have, they're both Chase cards. They're really super popular cards. One doesn't have an annual fee. And um, the other Chase card is the Sapphire Reserve and has a ridiculous annual fee, but you get travel, you get like 
money back for travel, plus all your points go to travel. And I use that card just as sort of a, um, you know, it's a promise to travel. Like, I, oh, I'm sure okay. you've seen this science that says that. Um, if you, you don't do it, you won't do it. Is that what you're talking about? If you don't do it, you won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay, that was about. a little obvious. I'm sorry um, for interrupting. That we we overestimate um, the joy that buying a thing is going to bring us, and we underestimate oh. the joy that an experience is going to bring us. Oh, okay. and so like I think of travel as an experience, and I think of like using a card um, that is going to give me travel points. It's like a promise to myself: I will travel because it's so much easier to be like, ugh, because I have you know I have three kids. It's five people in my family, like a, oh, I stole your pen, um, a ticket to anywhere. Like yeah. if we, if I was go literally anywhere, it's going to be a thousand dollars. And that's a lot. So, I mean, we could be putting the money, um, you know, towards a college fund or something, but why do that when we can go to Hawaii, which we did that's this year, what I always bought say. all five tickets on travel points. So, that's awesome. Yeah. And even the freedom card, which is not travel points, gives 3% back on everything. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Apple card just gives 3% back on Apple purchases, 2% mm -hmm. on everything else. And if you use the physical card or if you use the, if you use the number in a place that doesn't use Apple pay, it's only 1%. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely less money, but then you're talking about privacy. And that's the drum that Apple has been beating. And yes, it is more private. They, um, they're, they're gonna share the information with um, Goldman, Goldman Sachs. Sachs. It's also allegedly more secure, or in I shouldn't say allegedly, I should say in theory more secure because along with being private, it's also only giving a token to the different uh, mm -hmm. people that you're buying from. And so if that, like when Target had that huge breach, then all they'd have is that one token. They wouldn't have your actual card number. So if you're using the Apple Pay version, then yes. I'm not sure. One thing I don't know is I wonder if you swipe with the card, if it still does a token. I think because there's no number on the physical card. That's true. Hmm. That's so interesting. So I, I believe it is. And so I think you have to have, no, I haven't used the cards because I haven't gotten it, but I'm pretty sure you still have to have an iPhone with you to use the card. So there's still, you swipe the card oh. and it's going to use face ID, I think, to, to then confirm. confirm. Fascinating. Right. Do you want to learn to draw, Megan? Yes. Oh, wait, you probably know how to draw. <sighs> I am not good at drawing. Here, draw, um, okay. while I'm talking about this, you can okay. draw a picture, you of, draw me. A picture okay. of me. All right. Okay, so I'm going to talk about learn drawing, um, which again, I've got to flip this uh, iPad, which I hate to do, but here we are. Um, so these are some newly added options in here that walk you step-by-step -step through drawing. Now I did some research on some of the best drawing apps available in the iPad for teaching you how to draw. And a lot of people say that the best way to learn how to draw is by mimicking the greats. That's how a lot of painters learn how to paint. They'll go and they'll check out these paintings done by consummate professionals who have made beautiful things and they learn the paint strokes and things like that. Same thing applies here. You know, Van Gogh made this Lego painting right here, in fact. <laughs> and so if you follow along with it, then you can learn how to paint like Van Gogh or Van Gogh, apparently is how it's supposed to be said. Um, so whenever you tap into it, your first step is always going to be the finished drawing. And up here in the top right corner, you've got your different drawing tools for color change, erasing, drawing squares and circles and things like that, sharing, etc. So I'm gonna hit next and you can see that it takes you through the steps. So I'll draw a circle and then a rectangle here. And then next it says, okay, add a nice little elf ear. Oh man, I'm amazing. I've been, I've been, you know, a, a painter for years. Uh, we draw the hairlines and the face. Oh yeah, I gotta get those eyes. Mm, eyebrows on fleek. Mm. Gotta get the dimples, of course. And we're following through here. Oh wait, I already drew that. So that's, you know, we're just uh, really following the process. Uh, and you kind of get the idea. It takes you through the steps to slowly but surely add all of the stuff to make it. And the idea is that as you do this, you're going to get better with learning, you know, how to create these strokes on your own, how to sort of, if you're drawing something from an image or uh, something like that, then you can go ahead and know what you should be doing. And one thing I do want to point out, it kind of does some onion skinning. So you can see that line there, apparently I was supposed to have already drawn. The red line is the most recent one. The blue one is the one that you'd have just completed. 
And so it shows you over the course what needs to be done and what is already done so you can kind of sort through. So I'm just going to try to finish this really quickly so don't judge my beautiful... Um, honestly, this is modern art, and mm -hmm. so you really can't judge it is how that works. Yeah, that's uh, really Oh, good. now this is the annoying thing. I begged <sighs> this app. I said to the screen, please, app, please give me a way to pay to not have ads. No. But the fact is, most of the time, when you are an app that doesn't have, you know, or e but even apps that do have a lot of, of users, you can end up making more money on ads than you can if you did offer mm -hmm. an in-app subscription. And so you do get these apps from time to time. And that's why I took a while to try and come up with, you know, to, to do the research to try and find an app that was the best at offering uh, these options. And this is genuinely listed as one of the best. That's mine. I did that. That's really good. What, what do you think of mine? Oh, yeah. So here we go. Now it's time to see. Oh, my God. Yeah. It is. Can we just here? Let me. Yeah. Hold that up next to you. It's I am really a good artist. Perfectly accurate. <laughs> I think I captured your inner soul in that, too, because you look like 40 years older than you actually are. And I think inside you are really an old man. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I am an old man and I don't have arms too. Is, yeah. is what, what is, um, yeah. yeah, I'm really pretty proud of this. Thanks for inviting me back so of I course. could show off what a good artist I am. But let me level with you. The real fun of this show is new iOS hardware. And don't tell Leo, but my green iPhone beats his gold iPhone any day. So what's your overall take on the phone? All right. So... First of all, loving this phone. As you can see, I'm who running caseless. Um, oh, you are brave. You know why I don't run caseless? Not so much because I'm worried about this new matte finish because they say it is more durable, but the camera bump. Yeah. So uh, I just took off my case and I just got a little clear case. So it still looks pretty good. But because this case is raised, I can now lie my phone flat. You raise I don't my get, bump. I don't get wobbliness. Do you yes. get wobbliness when you... Well, let's see. Put your phone over here. Well, no, it's not wobbly. But it also makes me nervous that it's sitting on that. Yeah, but those are uh, sapphire lenses. Oh, they are? I'm fairly, I'm like 99.7% well, certain. Okay, it? so that this is pretty. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. Tough stuff. Let's try, let's just see. Oh I my mean, God. <laughs> what is he, oh, okay. How tough is it? <laughs> I thought, it's like, what's he got over there? <laughs> I'm putting it in some Excelsior. That's what we call that. Did you know that? No. Why do you call it that? That's what it's called. That's that's called Excelsior. That's such a cool you name for something so You have to be a so really stupid. old person to know that because in the old days, now it's made out of paper. It's just little paper shavings. This is from the packaging of a giant wallet that I just bought. Um, but in the old days, it was wood shavings oh. and it was called Excelsior. I, I'm... <laughs> Did you understand that reference? Yes. It was a little cameo. Every time there's a Marvel movie, yes, he appears. No, it was uh, it was what's his name? Yeah, uh, he's dead now. I forgot. I, yeah, well, Stan Lee. Um, Stan Lee. It's Stan Lee's motto, Excelsior. But this was a Marvel movie. That's the part I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get that reference. I'm Iron Man. Oh, you are Ant Man. <laughs> that's Ant Man. <laughs> I am the Black Panther. Oh, okay, that's good. Wakanda forever. You can't do it because. It, yeah, there's a, my microphone. There you go. Yeah, microphone in the way. I do. I every once in a while, I want to just say that. Wakanda. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Yeah. Every once in a while. I just Do you ever have that urge? No. No? Just but me? I don't have Stanley cameos in my life. Yeah. So, so uh, the reason I put your phone on Excelsior is just to see if the lens gets smushed up with gunk. Mm-hmm. Of course, well, mine would too on the Excelsior. And too, if you rub your finger on it, that will sort of, thank you so much. Love that. <laughs> I'm cleaning it. Yeah, I love that so much. You know, the Samsung phones, it's so easy because the fingerprint reader on the old Samsung phones is right next to the lens. Oh, no. They <laughs> actually, you you always rub the lens and then went, oops, and then locked it. They they actually have a warning when you launch the camera on the Samsung, uh, older Samsung phones saying, you'll get better pictures if you clean the lens. <laughs> That's amazing. So let me do this as a favor to you. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm going to cry. <laughs> See? Shiny and new. So you think that sapphire, it's so tough. It probably is. Mm -hmm. It's so tough that you're not worried about putting this on a desk? No. See, I like the idea that no, on I'm my case, it's I'm not going to pull a Renee Ritchie and put it on concrete and things like that. You would do that. Yeah. 
But this does on a scratch table up and everything. This, this new, what do you think of this new matte oh, finish? Oh, I love the matte finish. I do too. I, I've been doing just running my finger along it. Here's the funny part. It. The, of course, the previous iPhone, this was glass. Mm -hmm. One would think this would be less slippery. In fact, the glass is less slippery. Yeah, I was disappointed with that. Yeah. I was hoping that this matte finish was going to be less slippery, but it's not. It's more slippery. That's why I carry this in a rubber. So I have one of these. Apple makes them now, the clear TPU cases. For Apple 40 makes bucks. them for 40 bucks. I bought a $7 one on a Amazon. It works just fine. Uh, and I, I always put all my phones in these because it just protects it against scratches and stuff. And and it and it doesn't hide the, the well, it hides it a little bit. The light. It really, this phone is so beautiful. It is. Now, when you look at your green, black, ugly phone. Oh, my God. And the black uh, surgical uh it's stainless green, steel. Sa surgical stainless steel. Is it? Surgical steel. And you steel. compare that to, to my stain. lovely gold. Oh, where are we? Here we go. <laughs> to my lovely gold. Don't you think the gold is prettier? Go ahead and angle Not it. prettier. Don't cheat, don't cheat me. Not prettier. Don't cheat me of my luster. They're both gorgeous. Yeah, I guess so. It depends what you like. You, if you like what I like, then you like the Then green. you like green. If you like what Leo likes. Nobody likes green. Leo likes a gold toilet and a gold <laughs> phone. It matches my toilet. Yeah. You know, I'd argue a show featuring the best bits of iOS today is incomplete without a number of hilarious, ridiculous, and or just plain weird moments. So here's that. You're welcome. In the ads, in between, every break practically was an Apple TV Plus. I ad. heard that, yeah. After One after the other. And then last night on Monday Night Football, Apple TV Plus ads. They are pushing the nuts out of this one. <laughs> You know, we could let's let's retake. Let's do it. They are. <laughs> oh, well, that was ad libbed, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was. Do you hate this job, Leo? They're really pushing Apple TV Plus, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're pushing the heck out of this. Yes, they are. They really want people on the Apple TV Plus service <laughs> with. With uh, with all of their hearts and souls. Any other news? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I have some almonds here. Um, <laughs> uh, we drank Pepsi in South Petaluma. I, I could have a Coca Cola, but I like Pepsi. I ain't got Pepsi or Coca Cola. Well, you have. I got that DDP. DDP. Ten, two, and four. That's the one. <laughs> See, don't matter what time we do this show, I turn I turn into Andy Griffith any time of the day or night. You know Andy Griffith? He was not a good old boy. He was from Brooklyn. Mm. Yeah. I used to watch the Andy Griffith he show. He just all he did, he'd go Opie. Over at my great Let's go down house. to the fishing hole. Andy Griffith was not a southerner. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You're the first person who can match my whistling. Well, I never. It must be because I had some of that sipping room. I was whistling Dixie. And that's that. That is the year of 2019 in iOS, tvOS, watchOS, HomePod, CarPlay, and so much more. And we're excited to bring you even better things in 2020. Uh, of course, we record the show live every Tuesday at about 9.30 a.m. Pacific. That's 1.30 p.m. Eastern. And of course, you can watch live at twit.tv slash live. So be sure to tune in when we start again in the new year. And don't forget to subscribe at twit.tv slash iOS.